Hey everybody, Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I am joined by the Moldenhauer brothers, Jared here, Chad here, and they have been kind enough to come down to the IGN office and be subjected to really a, a test of, of their own medicine, a taste of their own medicine, and also a test of their own medicine. Yes. They are playing Cuphead. We're going to put them through a little bit of a gauntlet. And you see uh, Jared here on my right, screen left, already completely unfazed. He, <laughs> you've clearly done this before, a maybe couple once times. or twice. Yes. So, uh, starting with the slime boss, we figure we'll go world by world here, maybe mix in a, a run and gun in there as well. But, but guys, uh, the first thing I've got to ask you here is, how how are things now? How does it feel now that the game is finally out and it's got such an incredible reception, both critically and commercially? Yeah, we're both we're both overwhelmed by everything. We still we feel numb about yeah. the, the whole it's not real experience. Yeah. The checks haven't started hitting the bank account. No, yet. not yet. <laughs> so it just still everything feels surreal from the reviews, the reception, the sales. It's just mind blowing. Well, uh, Jared, acing test one, <laughs> no problem. Wow. I so, wonder if I got a good grade. <laughs> <laughs> he says, he says almost dismissively. <laughs> Look at that. That's going to be an A plus. Nailed it. A perfect score. <laughs> <laughs> he looks shocked. Uh, so the idea here was, you know, we've all been suffering at, at the hands of the bosses that you guys created. So if you couldn't, you know, it was kind of going to be yeah. fun for us to torture you. But that's but where letting me play might <laughs> give some of that. So we will we will pass the controller to Chad here, and let's get let's get a little run and gun. Chad, what you know this this took a long time. The game it was an absolute labor of love. Fourteen members on the team. Uh, was there was there ever a point where you guys were kind of wondering, man, is this going to happen? Like, is this was, was there ever any sort of doubt along the way? Well, I don't think we ever, like, lost track of the fact that we knew we were making a game. So, yeah. like, irregardless, we knew we were finishing a project. Yeah. So, it started small, and we were 100% certain we could do that. And then as it slowly expanded, like, we had... It was always baby steps. So, right. it was like, every time you get a couple new members and you get that flow going, mm -hmm. uh, we were pretty confident that we would, we would finish it. Yeah. I think the baby steps is what helped. Like, yeah. There never was a big chunk added onto the game, so it was all pretty simple. All right, here's Chad rocking the stage two uh, run and gun section. Also, clearly done this a few times before. Ah, a few, but I still will see if I have any skills left. I did not even know you could duck the ducks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that until you just did it. And I've I've tried I've done this hundreds of times. Before, well, maybe dozens on this one. I okay. love the, uh, the inverted gravity stuff. Yeah, that was a little bit of a Gunstar Heroes shout out that we're like, their, their stage where you can flip ceilings but also flip the other way, we're like, right. we have to somehow incorporate something in the game like that. And that inspired us and we came up with so, this. Uh, oh, every no single man. stage's art is unique, so... Um, What's, what's going, what, what was sort of the inspiration behind this thing? I mean, it's, it's like a carnival from hell. It started to match the, the world map, so we wanted like each area to kind of have a theme. Yeah. So when we knew we wanted something kind of circus and carnival-y for the second world, we're like, what would work with that? And then we're like, a fun house would be extraordinarily exciting. And it also combines so well with the Gunstar Heroes idea of Flipping top and bottom floors. Oh, oh my no! Brother. Chad! My brother. Look, almost there. Pretty good. That's yeah, that's like a nice That's not even close. Done. Believe me, I've played your game enough. That's Listen, like that's not even creative director. Creative director. <laughs> let, let Here, me have I, a, I, I better give it back it. to him. <laughs> Alright. Jared to show Chad how it's done. Yeah. Oh look at this dashing through the legs of the uh, yeah, of the ducks now. He's had a little bit more practice <laughs> in the record development. Time. So let me ask you guys now, uh, particularly Chad, since you're off mic and can focus on my, my questions a little more easily. Uh, boy, th this must be one of the toughest games to play and talk at the same time. It is. It is. Um, so Chad, this, the initial excitement when this was revealed publicly was, was through the roof. Yes. But you got to a point where, you know, 
game development's very, very difficult. I, I can say that even though I haven't made a game, you guys know it better than anyone. But was there a point where, you know, because on the community side, I, I could sense from our audience that people were like, man, this game looks like it's going to be great, but I'm tired of seeing it at trade shows. Like, just just come out already. What, what, what was that sort of period of development like where you have this interest in the game but as as jared just makes you look real <laughs> yeah, bad yeah. uh by smoking I gotta go. that running gun section but <laughs> but was that like are you guys aware or, or cognizant of that at all that sort of stretch of time or are you just so heads down where you, you're not even really worrying or paying attention to what the outside world is thinking i think we're both good at pulling away from some of that so we just wanted to make a game that we both really loved. And even if there was a lot of outside noise yeah. or, you know, let's come on, aren't you guys going to finish this game? Deep down, we both knew that we just, we want to complete this game. Boy, that's, I mean, that's awfully, especially for a first time game developer. I mean, that's, that's extremely mature, I guess, for lack of a better term, because I could see how, man, if I were making a game, my first game, and People were all right, so we're gonna let's let's go to let's see. Uh, well, we gotta go. We gotta go to the Dragon Boss on this one. Okay. Yep. Okay. He says unfazed again. No, this one's a little complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I'll plan some. Yeah, you gotta. Load out. Yeah, you've got to on this one. I, but yeah, I feel like man, if I were making a game and people were, the, the initial reaction was was incredible, and, and I mean, I'm sure that must have felt good. But for sure, then I, I almost I, I don't know if my my. Uh, sense of self-worth would, would be strong <laughs> enough to, to weather that sort of period where people are just like so are almost like over it because they just want it to come out you guys are yeah guys are as level-headed as it gets over here that's just how we grew up like just being we don't have the super highs or super lows yeah. so we're kind of always that's in the way to go isn't it you just you just stay even keel my dad's yeah. like that and i always try to be like that but yeah, it's, uh, that was uh, our goal. We said you have to have the heart of like a sixty-year-old man yeah. going to do something yeah. like this. <laughs> All right, it's, uh, I love. We're we're uh, not going to torture Chad right off the bat. I could Jared probably do phase one and two of this boss, <laughs> but oh I, my goodness, phase three is a little trickier. Yeah, see, I I, I would have to. This I, I actually got applause in Ooh. the office when I because I finished this like I stayed late to finish this. There were a bunch <laughs> of people still here. And when I finally just like exhaled and dropped the controller in, in victory, but the whole a, office erupted. It's the best feeling though. It to really like is. Overcome like, a hard challenge. It really, really is. That's the, the style of games we grew up with, like the late 80s and early 90s. Yeah, and being Contra, in the arcade, and, yeah. Even being in the arcades all the time, everything yes. was like a challenge you had to overcome. Get it, put another quarter in, let's go. Yes. So that's in our DNA, and those are the kind of games we love. That's why. You see it with every so, boss and stage. And, and this this dragon boss broke me to the point where <laughs> I went online looking for strategies. And one of the strategies that I did see was, in fact, to use this lob cannon here. Apologies, I don't know its exact name off the top of my head. Lobber. There you go. <laughs> but I didn't have... I, I was out of coins. I couldn't... I was stuck with, with what I had. Ah, yes. So I had to... I had to uh, use what I had in the... Uh, Seems like, yeah, this is a super helpful one. This, I hate this part. <laughs> so this is also a super complicated animation on the I can't even imagine. Dragon, too. Are there, where is all the original art for the game? Is it is it framed? Is it being preserved? We still haven't decided what we're going to do. It's just in a drawer somewhere? Well, it's, it's, it's stacked around. neatly. It's and, stacked. You know, some animators have their original still at their places and we so we still have to collect it all at some point well, for yeah, sure what if there's a fire you got fire you guys have to but then it makes whatever stuff. comes out of the fire more valuable no, no. <laughs> so if 90 percent of it's burnt it'll be like nah, on ebay <laughs> now comes the real test for you chad because we're going to world three yep and you know what let's go to where i'm stuck oh. so where, where i have no grounds to to to, to uh no superiority grounds whatsoever. Let's go to the beehive, shall All we? All right. Let's go. Right. This is where I have I think I've played Phase myself. 3 twice in my life, so this is going to be good. That flaming lobber? Yeah. I, I, I would go with that. All right. D-pad or thumbstick? D-pad. D-pad 100%. D-pad 100%. Uh, Elite controller? Standard? Do we have a preference? Do we care? 
the elite's a little bit better, but I I don't have the biggest preference. Okay, that's good to know. You don't you don't. Sometimes maybe a Sega Saturn controller. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that's not that even one a joke. Feels pretty nice. Is there a way to rig that up to the PC version? Yep, Japanese Sega Saturn nice. controller. Don't confuse people with that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's... Uh... <laughs> well, so far in this Let's Play, I'm learning that I should have bought the lobber a long time ago because that's what you guys are using almost exclusively here, and it is. Uh... See, I was using the the homing thing for for this boss. Yeah, but then I know it does less damage, but but then it homes in on certain attacks, and that's true. That is true. Blame that on Jared. <laughs> yeah, that is my fault. All right. It's your fault, Jared. Thanks a lot. <laughs> I hate that triangle. Yeah, it's tricky. I still do enjoy that some things panned out. Like, I was like, <laughs> I don't know. It's early in the game, but I'm like, I don't know if the slime's tombstone will trick people into kind of putting the controller down and being like, right. I did beat it. <laughs> I'm like, but if there's a chance, even 2%? But I finally had a chance to look at some videos, and <laughs> it did actually work. So, where, where do all these ideas for all these bosses come from? It's a mix and match. Yeah. Like, like, a are, lot are between they, us going back and forth, and... Are they literally your nightmares, or do you just, like, where do these come from? I don't understand. I think lot starts with the with the design of the actual patterns. I'm not gonna, oh, I'm gonna Chad, stop talking. No, I'm gonna stop talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a super built up though, my friend. Oh! Oh, and it's invincible? Yeah, yeah, okay. maybe use it for this and yeah. get as many hits as you can in with your stronger weapon. Yeah. There we go. Now See, switch now, back. Now, I oh, can, you know, I, now I'm just watching tips. with bated breath here. Okay, if I can't beat this, what happens? Oh, oh you Whew, did I it. I redeemed myself. Yes. You did it. So the, all right, do we do a bonus round? Do we go to the devil? Do we, sure, we do sure. it? Sure, sure. See, these, boy, I just no fear. <laughs> I, I really counted on you guys having like a, at least a little bit of, of trepidation. Well, but now expert mode might give them a little bit of fear. We that does yeah, give me a little it, bit but. of fear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so let me get let me get back to that. Where where, yeah, where do all these ideas come from? There's, there's such there's such a disparate variety of of characters and and enemies and attack patterns for a brainstorming session yeah that's really where the majority of it comes from and jared sometimes has a very clear set of patterns or type of actions that yeah. the boss is going to do we start bouncing ideas off and say oh that would work perfect if there was a character up top here oh it could be a, maybe it's a pirate and there's a boat underneath them and you start forming that absolutely happens. That there's not necessarily an idea there. You know it has to suit like World Three, but right. you're not a hundred percent certain what it is. And then you just have like the placeholders, which was a series of red blocks and occasionally floating <laughs> Jared heads. Yes, there's actually a, that, we there used a Jared, really? Jared, like, like, like Jared Romero heads. at the end of Doom Two. No, almost exactly like that. <laughs> and for a, for a good portion of development, you'd you'd be playing a boss, and all of the attacks that were coming at you were just floating Jared heads. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, are there bosses that are sort of more or less done on the cutting room floor that didn't make it into the game. Do you want me to try the expert? Like really push yes. myself to uh, Let, I mean we might we are we are at the end. Let's Oof. do it. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I believe in you. <laughs> I don't know about this. This usually needs a couple turns to get into the rhythm. So yeah, so are are there are there bosses that, that, that just are done that more or less that didn't make it into the game? There was nothing that was finalized, like actually complete an entire concept that didn't make it in. There okay. was things that were loosely started yeah. when it suited like the smaller game. Yeah. And then we're like, well, that's not a good way to end this game anymore, so we'll just cut it. Yeah. Right. But um, yeah, nothing, no huge de like development. Just little bits and pieces. Animation work started, yeah. no, for sure. We had to keep it super lean to make sure this game eventually <laughs> shipped. Which it did, and everybody loves it, including IGN, including myself. Uh, boy, it's, I mean, it's, a lot of us, I have to, I'll just, I'll be honest with you guys, a lot of us were worried, I, I'll speak for myself, I was a little worried that, that the game, the game wouldn't live up to the art style. But it does. It absolutely does. The game's phenomenal. It's, it's the best Xbox exclusive this year, uh, and, yep. and I'm just I'm so grateful to you guys for and your whole team here uh, for just think. slaving away and and spend investing your lives in this. <laughs> we were more worried that no matter what the game turned out to be, some of the hype would overshadow right. 
like the quality. It didn't happen. No, it didn't. Somehow. Somehow it didn't. Yeah, because, yeah, it's just, it's. This is out. what but I did. Let's start. Like at, can we start asking Jared questions while oh, he's we playing? Can. <laughs> uh, how, what was. Let me ask you this, Jared. Was the last boss or the first boss the one that was iterated on the most throughout development? Because I, I could see it either way. I actually think the last boss came together the quickest. Because you to guys be knew what to do by then, maybe? Or you like had a better feel for the uh, whole thing? I don't I think it's because there was like some patterns that would potentially have been used on uh, a different boss. Right. That we were like, that's a challenging one. And we're like, I don't know what it will suit, but we'll make it suit something when the time comes. Yeah. Actually that's true. There was like a a pile of really cool ideas we had that had never that never really worked with any other boss. So when we got closer and closer to starting the devil fight, it was just like pick from the tickle Throw trunk. Them all in, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're all very easy patterns too, huh. of course, right? Do you agree? The devil is the easiest boss in the game? I'm not there yet. <laughs> I don't know. This looks this definitely looks uh this part, yeah. challenging. Oh, oh no! Man, this part gets me so One antsy. hit point left. I know, I don't no like it. No pressure. Expert mode. <sighs> Ugh, let's see. Jared Moldenhauer. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna die. Deploys. I'm gonna die in the tears. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Please oh, die, my please goodness. die, please die, please die. Only oh. your no! Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Chad and Jared Moldenhauer, thank you so much for running. You ran the gauntlet. <laughs> With with your pride and your integrity intact, uh, <laughs> thank you both so much for Cuphead. Uh, we're going to do a lot more with you. Uh, this video will publish soonish, I'm sure. But uh, soon, you'll, I'm going to sit down with you guys and talk through the whole Cuphead story uh, of of uh, regular life to game development to to ultimately Cuphead on IG and Unfiltered. So please look forward to the next episode with these two gentlemen. Uh, and for much more on Cuphead, keep it tuned right here to IGN.